hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is precious if you're new here you're seeing this beautiful face for the first time please ensure not to make it last i am a nigerian youtuber based here in calgary canada and um, i basically do tips on how to come to canada lifestyle vlogs beauty fashion any good thing you can think about yeah and um don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because i know you're going to enjoy it don't forget to subscribe leave your lovely comments down below and also share this video with someone because it's really going to be helpful so that being said let's jump right into the video so like the title already says today's video i'll be telling you guys all the things you need to come with when coming to canada from nigeria or from any country i'm sure most of these things will be similar I mean, different people watch me right and i know there are some of you who who are still in the process who don't even know if it's going to come through or not i just wanted to have faith okay have faith by watching this video and um, definitely one day you're going to find yourself here and also for those who are about to come i know it's a bit overwhelming you have a lot to do like it seems like in fact it's not it doesn't seem like it's actually a lot like you need you need to do a lot of things you're living where you are used to like where you've been living all your life and you're coming to a new place leaving your family behind friends and all of that so it can be really overwhelming so make sure you watch this video to the end also share it to someone out there and thank you as you do so anywho so yeah so when coming to canada the first thing that you want to make sure you have is your passport you guys is very important because without your passport they're not going to let you travel because you're going to show it everywhere in the airport immigration and all of that so you need your passport you need your travel documents um of course passport if you're coming as a pr you need your copr if you're coming as a student you need your student permit if you're coming via work permits you need that as well and um, you need to bring um all your credentials from back home like your certificates all of those things you guys please do not laminate your credentials don't do that don't do it don't don't do it your wire results your your certificate whatever it is do not laminate it please just bring them the way they are okay yeah um, the next thing you want to come with is your laptop because you need a laptop asap when you get here even if you're a student even if you're a pr because you need to start applying for jobs so you need your laptop to do that as a student you need your laptop in school so that is very 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 important you also need to come with a power bank i mean there are places where you can charge your phones here and there even on the plane you can charge your phone and all that but you just want a power bank right because the journey is a very long one and um you want to make sure you're online on the go like you want to be active so at least your family can reach out to you because obviously they'll be bothered right until when you've told them oh i finally landed that kind of thing then their mind can be at ease and all of that so that's one thing you want to ensure that you come with also make sure you come with your medical records your optical records dental records immunization records and sure you come with all of those stuff and also i would like to advise that when traveling if you can get the miss bow bags i'm going to leave a picture of what it looks like here instead of using boxes for your check-in why am i saying this because these bags are very lightweight and i mean you're only allowed 23 kg of two bags so you want to pack as much as you can so you're also looking for a way to mix space if you get what i mean so with the box box on its own has weight and that alone has already occupied part of your 23 kg so you want to make good use of the allowance you have you can get these bags from balogun market and i think other places um the guy who sells it in balogun market i think if i have his name i'm going to put um his contact on the screen you don't have to go to the market i think he delivers as well you can get that bag also you want to make sure you come with your driver's license you guys it's very important to come with your driver's license if you don't have a driver's license please try to get one before you come because it's going to save you money it's going to save you time and um you can start driving immediately you get here if that's what you plan to do but just try to get the license because it's really really important so yeah that being said the next set of items is clothing so it depends on when you're coming to canada because canada has four seasons it has winter it has winter summer 
spring and fall so it depends on when you're coming i mean don't be like me that came with so many ashawokos that's not what i mean but like i came with crop tops and all those kind of things and which is not which is okay because i came in may right although it was cold and i couldn't use most of those things until when summer started and summer is summer is really like for what three months or less so you don't really get to use those items like that so the main thing you're supposed to come with is like sweaters then if you're coming during the winter you want to get like a winter jacket even though it won't like sustain the kind of cold here at least it can take you out of the airport like from the airport to where you're going to stay it can help you with that and you also want to come with um like shoes when i in terms of shoes you want to come with your sneakers really really important little or less heels don't even come with sandals or slippers because you won't use them if at all you need to bring that your very fine sandal or slippers a pair will do honestly because you're not going to wear them you get i mean most of these things might not make sense to you guys until you come here that's why they say who no go no no right so yeah then you want to make sure you come with like winter boots if you're coming during winter i'm going to show you, like a picture of what it looks like here come with those kind of boots that have like um grip so you don't want so you don't fall i mean you don't want to fall in this place because people fall and break their bones so you don't even want to be a victim of that so yeah that's for clothing then and shoes then for bags you really don't want to come with a lot of bags a bag is okay if you ask me i came with just one bag every other bag i have i got it here and you don't really use bags like you know how we use bags in nigeria you don't really use bags most people even just come with a backpack and that is fine i couldn't bring my backpack because i think i bought a back backpack but due to my luggages i had to send it back home right so if you have watched my kata but my gist you know that i i met a witch <laughs> that attended to me at the airport anyway that's like if you want to hear all of that i'll just link the video up here so yeah that's for like clothing shoes bags and all of that then the next thing i want to talk about is skin care you guys please come with your skincare come with your what skincare when i was coming like i went to see a dermatologist and he recommended some products that i have to use i was like i went to canada and i went to find them there i mean they are here not all but most of them are here but they are very expensive like the they're like times three of what you buy them in nigeria like no jokes so please bring as much as you can that can last you for a period of time until you eventually start buying from here so you want to come with your skincare and for your perfumes you want to make sure you check those in don't carry them don't put them like in your carry-on bags skincare perfumes check them in right yeah so you want to come with your perfumes you want to come with like skincare like i said you want to come with oils because it's really dry here especially this period you want to come with your coconut oil shea butter a boniki balm for the cold inhaler because since i came to this country i've been sniffing you guys like i'm always sniffing even during summer i'm always all the time i don't know i've been having runny nose since i landed here and it hasn't stopped so make sure you come with an inhaler make sure you come with um what else let me see yeah make sure you come with um hair extensions as well for the ladies make sure you come with hair extensions come with your wigs you are really going to need your wigs here because making hair is very expensive at least come with the extensions so that if you're the type that likes to braid your hair you know you have the extensions and you're only paying for like the label right so like me i can stay for years without braiding my hair so i mean i still came with extensions so you you sure want to do that I think I came with a dozen because whenever I get to make my hair, I use like three. So I just brought a dozen. People bring more. Just do whatever works for you, basically. And um, also come with your sanitary towels. Come with um, panty liner. I mean, they have those kind of things here. But you want to bring something your body is used to. Then after a while, you want to like slowly start using what they have here. Also try to come with sewing kits, you guys. So our men clothes here is so expensive. <laughs> it is so expensive. It's even more expensive than the actual clothes itself. So if you can't get your sewing kits, like needle and thread, to so like hem your clothes and all of that, 
it's really going to save you money also make sure you come with uh, over-the-counter medications you can come with malaria drugs a pack is okay because there's really no mosquitoes here so you're not gonna have malaria you just come with it in case you have like the parasites in your body when you're coming so that way if it hits you due to stress you can always take the medications you can come with pain relief you can come with um allergy drugs those kind of things just over-the-counter drugs right you can always come with those things then for the guys please come with your clipper if you can your beard oil because to cut your hair is expensive and you guys you cut your hair like twice a week right twice a week no like bi-weekly i mean say you cut your hair every two weeks most guys right and uh, um you need to come with that and if you can get the skill of knowing how to cut your hair is really going to help you it's really really going to help you and also for the ladies you should if you can learn how to make hair it will really help you and save you whole loads of money like if you can please do one other thing i forgot to mention girls ladies right girls ladies please come with relaxer yeah i know if you're not do if you're not on natural hair like if you're not on the natural hair gang please come with your hair relaxer even if it's a pack relaxer here is so expensive oh my god if you can't please come with relaxer come with relaxer those kids ones that you can use like three times please buy those ones even if it's a pack of it please come with your hair relaxer because you're moving here you want to like try to save as much as you can because you're coming to a place where the currency is way higher than what you're used to back home so you want to try to save cost as much as you can why am i clapping anyways next thing um so there are certain things you are not allowed to bring to canada don't do it because if they see it they're going to see it. they're going to trash it so just avoid wahala okay don't bring milk mm -mm. they don't allow it don't bring milk don't bring any kind of dairy products it is not allowed but you can i think they allow milk for very little kids because i mean they are they are obviously very tender so i think they allow baby food like milk for them but for adults like children they don't don't bring milk they're gonna seize it don't bring anything that has chicken or beef don't bring anything that has no don't bring anything that has chicken not beef don't bring anything that has chicken at all even your maggi don't bring maggi chicken don't mm -mm. if at all you want to bring maggi chicken take off the wrap because if they see anything that has chicken on it they're going to seize it okay also don't bring yam we allow yam but it's not that deep how long can the yam last you for don't bring yam because it's going to contain a lot of space and to make your bag weigh a lot also don't bring um don't bring rice they allow rice but don't bring it there's rice here what's the need don't bring beans if like i said don't bring um, pasta they have different types of pasta here that tastes really good you don't need to bring pasta here what else do you not need to bring don't bring chicken like i said earlier so that being said let's go down to what you guys really want to hear the most important things food stuff the kind of food items to bring to canada come with your gary very important as i speak to you right now my gary has even finished please come with <laughs> come with your gary come if you don't know what gary is, is i think it's called cassava flakes as well come with your blended egusi come with your blended ogbono come with um all sorts of dried fish catfish bala fish whatever just let it be very dried you can come with those you can come with oven dried snail i have a plug for oven dried snail i'm going to put her handle on the screen they ship all over the world if you want oven dried snail hit her up you can also come with um palm oil ensure that you freeze it make sure it's frozen this is mine so you might be lucky and they won't seize yours but you can come with that you can come with pepper cameroon pepper red pepper like blended pepper right crayfish oporo that's dry prawns oporo that's um, stockfish for my Igbo ladies you can come with okwa dried okwa you can come with dry abacha you can come with um Oba, you can come with uh, what else? Oba, 
if you know you like all these kind of things and you need them you can come with them you can come with suya spices you can come with pepper soup spices bring your maggi you guys maggi is so expensive hey maggi is so expensive yeah i don't know why please bring maggi as much as you can if you can carry indomie bring because the other day i bought a carton of noodles a carton of super pack for over for like almost twenty five thousand naira. I was I was so pushed to convert it to naira because I'm like, why is it so expensive? So we can bring bring. I mean, you have limited space. Another thing I like to let, let you guys know is that you can cargo your stuff, you guys. You can cargo. It is even cheaper than paying for excess luggage. You can cargo. You can either do sea cargo, which is even more cheaper than air cargo. It depends on where your pocket is. You can actually cargo to Canada. It's not, it's, you don't have to try to bring everything you can actually cargo even when you're coming or after a while you can also always cargo your stuff right then other things you can bring you can bring your dried leaves you have like you know like scent leaf vegetable leaf bitter leaf the dried ones you can come with them the dried ones are always more expensive so you can come with those if you can you can buy the fresh one and dry it by yourself whatever works for you yeah you can come with dried leaves you can come with um Iru, if you like Iru, me, I don't like you. I don't, can't even stand the smell. So I didn't bother. Okay, you can come with that if you like it. You can come with Upei if you like the smell. If you can, if you like, I mean, these things are really tasty in meals, right? So you can come with, you can come with those things, but make sure you package it very well. So you also want to come with Goldmon. You want to come with Achi. You want to come with um, tomato paste. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If there's anything you feel that I forgot to mention, you can put it in the comment section down below as usual. Um, I think yeah, you also have to come with you so you can also come with like semovita, poundu yam, those kind of things. Then for makeup, I forgot to add that you should get this eye pencil, this Davis eye pencil that we use in Nigeria. This one. If you want to come with that? I bought a pack of this and it's going to last me for years. It's a very good eye pencil, so. You also want to come with cortical remover. You guys, that thing is so expensive here. So if you can come with that, you can bring that as well. And I think I've mentioned everything that I can remember. If you think there are things that I didn't mention, please leave it in the comment section down, down below. So that being said, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please ensure you share this video with someone out there. It will be very useful to somebody out there. Also, please don't forget to follow me on all my socials. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, do other good stuff. And so until next time, my loves, always stay beautiful.